Do we have a new weapon coming to Red Dead Online in a new update? Some of you have quite the eye and noticed something off in Rockstar's Newswire update from yesterday, and we're gonna get into all the details on this and of course have some speculations and some clue hunting because while it could be nothing, there also is certainly a valid reason to believe that this is a new weapon players may eventually be able to use in Red Dead Online. So if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your notifications turned on. Alright, so let's talk about this weapon tease. In Rockstar's Newswire yesterday, if you recall the segment about shotgun discounts and also the discount on the elephant rifle, an image was embedded on the page, and at first glance, it looks like the elephant rifle. I mean, that's part of what the section on the weekly discounts is in regards to, so surely Rockstar used an elephant rifle illustration for it. Now, in my comment section, many of you pointed out how strange this image looked and how it reminded you of the buffalo rifle. The Red Dead Redemption buffalo rifle stats and image are also up on screen currently. Note a few things from this image, besides the stats which we will go over a little bit later on. You can see the iron sight on the stock and above the trigger of the buffalo rifle, and that is of course not a feature on the elephant rifle in Red Dead Online. And the image itself, when compared side by side, is a direct copy and paste. Someone from Rockstar used the Red Dead Redemption buffalo rifle image for this week's Red Dead Online update newswire, and even looking at the detail of the grain on the wood and on the corner of the stock, you can see it match up with the buffalo rifle. And I apologize for the quality here, this is the best image of it on Google I can find. This is also the resolution that you will see it in game, but feel free to boot up Red Dead Redemption 1 for yourself and compare it in game. Now, I'm not too sure what's going on here and why this was included in the newswire. I think now everyone who is paying close attention is really curious about the specific use of this image in particular. I mean, Rockstar meticulously plans out their newswires with the in-game screenshots they grab of characters to show off new clothing while they pose for shots or whatever the case may be here. I don't ever recall any spelling mistakes in these newswires, and even if this was somehow a mistake on their part, considering Red Dead Redemption released in 2010, it would be awfully strange for whoever is in charge of designing designing and also planning out the structure and format of this section of the newswire to go all the way deep into the game assets folder for Red Dead Redemption 1 in 2010 just to grab this image instead of using the most recent elephant rifle images that they already have in Red Dead Redemption 2. Therefore, the inclusion of this image means one of a few things. One, it could just be a mistake. Two, it could be an intentional tease or a purposeful leak. Or three, it is a troll. The image was intentionally used knowing people would pick up on it, but at least at the current moment, maybe Rockstar has no plans at all to add this weapon to the game, considering the elephant rifle is so similar with its insanely high damage, massive recoil, etc. All the traits of these big, powerful, long rifles. Rockstar is definitely known for satire and trolling in their games, and maybe there's some other examples of trolling in newswires besides just satirical and comedic wording. Now, I also feel Feel like a mistake isn't too likely either just because of the fact that this isn't a Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online image. Or maybe it's an entirely new illustration by the art department. Because let's just say if this weapon were to come into the game, I feel like that this would be the image that they would use for the catalog and also the in-game icon for the new weapon. The newswire unfortunately does not give us any details either. When using Google Chrome's inspect element, the files of the supposed buffalo rifle image is simply titled gun, so no confirming hints right there. This is just a very strange thing thing for players to see from Rockstar right now because we have no other confirmed details on the end of the year update besides just the fact that Rockstar said one is coming in the first place. We've also previously discussed all of the Halloween pass details, Halloween celebration update details, and the Fear of Us game mode leaks, and Rockstar hasn't even released that update in game yet. And now we have this to keep in mind as well. As of the current moment, I have no way of verifying if this image from the newswire is in the game currently, or maybe if there's some low texture model of this weapon like we've shown off for the Halloween Pass machete and other unlockables in the Halloween Pass. So if anyone discovers this in the game files, please come forward because that would be the biggest confirmation right there. And even if it's not in the game files, I think it's totally up for debate if this is coming to Red Dead Online, whether in the update later this year, or if this is some plan down the road. If you want to believe it's coming into the game, I'll just say don't expect it for the Halloween update as all those assets are already in the game and have been since the Naturalist came out in, at the end of July. And it would be pretty crazy if this leak slipped through the cracks, but I Either way, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Did Rockstar just get somewhat lazy and use the incorrect image for a game asset to show off in the
the newswire. Is this a troll to get player and fan conversation started while there's not much hype in the game currently? Or is this an intentional leak or hint from Rockstar about something to expect coming soon? It's just a weapon, so it's not the craziest thing in the world, yes, but when the elephant rifle released in game, lots of players asked, what is coming next? What other weapons can Rockstar add in new DLC updates? Because typically, we see at least one, whether it's a melee weapon like we've seen in the past with the May and the Spring update last year in 2019, or a sidearm like the Lamat revolver or the Navy revolver, and then of course the elephant rifle which we've had most recently with the Naturalist. So I think it's safe to say that there will be yet another weapon of some kind coming in the update that closes out 2020, but no confirmation just yet on what that is. I really enjoy how Rockstar is continuously adding new weapons to this game in general. In GTA Online, they've definitely added quite a few over the years as well, and I can't necessarily speak on each new update if that included a new weapon or not because I don't play GTA Online each new update that it comes out, especially nowadays, but new weapons coming in each new update for Red Dead has certainly been the case so far, and I hope this trend continues. Despite the thought that there's not many weapons to add, it's quite the contrary, honestly. There's plenty of prototypes from back then, ranging from strange semi-auto long rifles to pistols and revolvers, and of course, a million and one different melee weapons Rockstar can add to the game. And while the elephant rifle would be similar to the buffalo rifle, it isn't the buffalo rifle, which makes that one of the only weapons from 2010's Red Dead Redemption that aren't in Red Dead Redemption 2 and, of course, Red Dead Online. I'm also really hoping eventually players can get their hands on the M1899 sidearm pistol in Online as well, but since Online takes place in 1898, people will just get all anal, and so they should really just name it the M1898 to fit the time frame. Either way, instead of worrying about the name and date and semantics, I just want Red Dead Redemption's high power pistol in Red Dead Online. Story mode has it, it would be great to use it in Online too. Red Dead Online hasn't seen a new DLC pistol sidearm yet, so that is certainly their opportunity because one, it's already in the game, and it's been in the game since PC released back in November of 2019. So with all that being said, that is where we're going to wrap up the video here today. Again, I would like to know your thoughts on this potential new weapon tease and if you think it's going to amount to anything. Also, nice job to all of you who took notice and took to the comments to make me and others aware of what this was. What an interesting finding, whether it comes true or not, honestly. And hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even Rockstar Games as a whole. We'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on all three of those websites, and you can feel free to strike up a conversation and even ask me a question. Whatever it may be, though, you can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead online video. Adios, amigos.